Hello, this is John, JD, PhD, Finance Concentration. I'll be talking about the time period and a future value of a lump sum in this video. Here's an example solving for the time period in a future value of a lump sum. This is a hypothetical question. Raymond is just a, a name here chosen for the, for the question. And this question does not take into account such things as taxation. Let me read off the question. If Raymond can earn 4.5% a year on his savings account, how long will it take for him to double his money? Let's look at the solution. FV equals PV times 1 plus I raised to the nth power. That is the future value of a lump sum. FV stands for future value. PV stands for present value. I is interest rate. N is the time period. It is an exponent. Now, we need the uh, dollar amount to double, so you can choose 1 for the PV and 2 for the FV, or for example 5 for the PV and 10 for the, 10 for the FV. Plugging in here, so I use 1 for the PV, 2 for the FV, interest rate in decimal notation is 0 0.045, N is unknown, looking to solve for that, this reduces down to 2 equals 1.045 raised to the nth power. Now take the natural logarithm of both sides and then one of the properties of the natural logarithm uh, allows the exponent to come down so ln of 2 is equal to n ln of 1.045 divide through on both sides by the natural logarithm of 1.045 so n equals ln of 2 divide by ln of 1.045. The ln of 2 is 0 0.693147. The ln of 1.045 is 0 0.044017. So the answer here is 15.75 years. So it will take about 15.75 years for Raymond to double his money uh, with an interest rate of 4.5% a year. To check the work, you can use uh, the rule of 72. Now, this is just an approximation. It's not as precise as the natural logarithm approach. So, with the rule of 72, you take 72 divided by the interest rate, where you leave off the percentage sign on the interest rate. So, it's 72 divided by 4.5 equals 16 years. So, that is used to check the work, although it is not as precise as the natural logarithm approach. Thank you. Bye.